Welcome to First Film Vault, the show that gives you random film reviews through my perspective. Did you know that You Don't Know Jack is not only a video game, but also the title of an HBO film? That's right, let's check it out. What we're doing here today is groundbreaking. No better word for groundbreaking. Good morning, everybody. This is the Morning Drive Show. Today, it's a uh, special edition. It's the Morning Die Show because of my special guest, Dr. Jack Kevorkian. You might know him better as Dr. Death. If a person's allowed to die, you do it quickly, painlessly. You don't let him wither away. What would you charge for this procedure? You don't charge people for something like this. Jack, they're threatening to bring you up on murder charges. Have the gall charge Dr. Kevorkian tonight. Bring it on. You're not a local quack anymore. No. Or America's quack. America's quack. <laughs> I bailed you out. Let's go. What kind of lawyer does that? I should fire you. Have you no religion? Have you no God? He is leading society into an age of enlightenment, you idiots. Who cares what people think? It's what my patient feels. And those who say of Jack Kevorkian, Dr. Death is a fanatic... Zealot, but if it helps everybody else, I can turn fanatic. Okay, I had no recollection of that trailer whatsoever when I rented it. All I remember was that I did watch the trailer at some point, but couldn't really remember what the story was about except for the fact that it has a catchy title and stars Al Pacino, which to me was good enough for a viewing. You Don't Know Jack is a drama based on the true story of Dr. Jack Kevorkian's controversial practice in helping his terminally ill patient commit suicide. Morbid, I know. Sounds like a mad doctor from a 50s film. And this film is trying to tell us the reason behind the so-called madness. It's directed by Barry Levinson, who hadn't done anything good in the past couple of years. The last good film that he made was Sphere, and that was back in 1998. It stars Sir Al Pacino, of course, John Goodman, Susan Sarandon, and Denny Houston. A pretty good cast, in my opinion. The thing that bugged me slightly, only slightly, was the performance by Sir Al Pacino himself. I don't know how to describe it, but on some occasion it just seems a little off. But overall, he did an excellent job in capturing some of the witty, somber charm that the real Jack had, and also his inner mad doctor who defies the general public's view to do whatever he can in his patient's best interest. This film was able to capture those moments beautifully to justify his action. I got all teary-eyed when they started showing some of the footages from his terminally ill patient, up to the point that I started wondering if that was the actual footage or just a reenactment for the film. If it was the latter, then damn, they were some pretty good actors. The story of his action and the consequences that that brought him are the main driving force of this film, and the fact that this actually happened in the 1990s elevated my interest even more. I was drawn to his journey all the way till the end. I'll be one of the first people who admits that I don't know if his action is right or wrong since I've never been in those situations that his patients were, and this film really showed me a very realistic perspective on how it is to be in their shoes. Therefore, I'm going to give this film a good. But please understand that this is a good that's not for everyone, because the underlying content of this film is not for the lighthearted. Dr. Jack of Orkin appears at the courthouse locked in an old-fashioned wooden pillory. Wait, what law have I broken? Can we all I will ask ahead. the question, Listen, sir. Smart ass. It's on your mind, Jack. I'm thinking of the Supreme Court. I'm thinking of going all the way. I don't know about the law either, but I know when I'm watching a train wreck. You need people that you can trust. And the only way people trust each other is if they know each other. And nobody knows you. Nobody. Jack, you can't kill someone on national television. Fine, great! You know, this is such a great idea, Doctor. These are my decisions to make. Mine alone. Great Jack Kevorkian. The man's invincible. When a law is deemed immoral by you, you must disobey it. You must disobey it. And that is that. Another journey with your host who's in desperate need of a haircut is coming to a close. But don't worry my friends since we could always stay connected via the comment box below. So be sure to post any sort of comments you might have there and if you like the show, don't forget to subscribe. It's just one click away so you'll always be in the know when the newest episode is gonna get posted and etc. But that's it. I'll see you at the next review.